Hello everyone. This is the question asked in Gate 2020 Civil Engineering Set 1. Five friends P, Q, R, S, and T went camping. At night, they had to sleep in a row inside the tent. P, Q, and T refused to sleep next to R since he snored loudly. P and S wanted to avoid Q as they usually hug people in sleep. Assuming everyone was satisfied with the sleeping arrangements, what is the order in which they slept? So. we have to determine a sleeping arrangement that satisfies all the given condition that is present in the question now in order to solve this question let's have a look at the useful insights that we will need so in such type of questions we need to look for the direct and the indirect information so the direct information is the information which is clearly mentioned in the statements of the question and this information serves as our starting point in solving the questions also the indirect information is filled after finding all the direct information and in indirect information we basically have to associate all the connections between different parts of the information so let's use this concept and try to solve the problem now the first direct information that is given to us is that p q and t can never sleep next to r so the first direct information that is given to us is that p q and t can never sleep adjacent to r now the second direct information which is given to us is that p and s wanted to avoid q which means that p and s can never sleep adjacent to q now these are our two direct informations which are given to us now let's try to determine the indirect information which we can deduce from the two statements so the first statement says that p q and t can never sleep adjacent to r so if i have an arrangement of five friends and three of them can never sleep adjacent to one of them then that means that the only friend that can sleep adjacent to r would be s so also it is interesting to note that r can never sleep in the second third and fourth position why is that because let's say r sleeps in the second position now the only friend that is liable to sleep next to r is s and no matter if s sleeps in the first or the third position there would always be a vacant space in either of the position that has to be filled by either p q or t and according to the statement p q and t can never sleep adjacent to r so we have to fill r in such a position that only one of the friend can sleep adjacent to him adjacent to r so that position is either first position or the last position so if i place r in the first or the last position then only s can sleep adjacent to r and that satisfies the first condition now let's try to analyze the second condition which states that p and s can never sleep adjacent to q so let's look at our first result which satisfies the first condition so in the first result if i try to place q in the third position it voids the second property because it sleeps adjacent to s if i place q in the fourth position then no matter where i place p it would always be adjacent to q so the only position in which q can sleep would be the last position that is the fifth position so q would be placed in the fifth position and now since p cannot sleep adjacent to q p would be placed in the third position this leaves t to be placed in the fourth position now this would be our first result which satisfies both the given conditions now let's have a look at the second arrangement so using the same logic q can never be placed in the third position and the second position so this would leave q to be placed in the first position and this would enable p to be placed in the third position and t in the second position so these are our two results which satisfies both the direct conditions and hence these are our two answers so Let's look at the options to see which of the answer is satisfied in the given options. So, looking at the options, 
the only option that is that satisfies the first condition is option a so option a rspdq is the right answer also in such type of questions we actually don't need to find all the given arrangements and try to determine which arrangement is right if it's a mcq type question then we can directly look at the options and we can look for an option which satisfies both the direct conditions if we can find that option we can directly tick on that option and proceed to the next question thank you